Living a Life of Truth. February 22, 2014. How important is it dear ones for you to be truthful each and every day? There are many dear souls among you that will openly admit that it is wrong to be dishonest when it's about big and important things, but also believe lying about things of lesser importance to be excusable. But truth be told, a lie is a lie regardless if it's about something big and important or something of little significance. To someone, what you may think is of little importance is quite important. Even when you exaggerate the truth to spare someone's feelings or to impress your peers, you are being dishonest and most importantly you are being dishonest with yourself. So many dear souls truly believe there are degrees of dishonesty which will depend on the reason and purpose for the lie, but to God there is no degree. There is not a person out there that has not told even a tiny lie at one point in their lives. Many times lies are used to help yourself, or to protect someone. Every single dear soul has told a fib. Does it feel good to the other person that is receiving your dishonesty? Do you think they notice you are being less than truthful? God knows, and your true and inner self knows. Every time you choose to lie, you are widening the gap between you and God. Being truthful with yourself and with others is important, not just telling the truth but acting in a truthful manner, because you know how much your actions speak louder than any word you can express. Yet being truthful with yourself and with others is one of the most difficult things for people to accomplish, even now in this modern age. Living a life that is truthful can reshape your life for the better dear ones, and will positively affect those around you in a deep and profound way. Even the great people that have gone down into history for helping society to live better peaceful lives lived a truthful life, but this does not mean they never lied. Even the blessed Mother Teresa has had to tell a fib now and then, but she still maintained a certain standard of personal truth that she lived by. She has helped many dear souls reach peace, to understand unconditional love and to be compassionate. You are not required to give up everything and go to underdeveloped countries, trying to save every dear soul that is struggling to survive to live a life of truth. You can live a life of truth right where you are right now. There are many scriptures to be found that speaks about man having joy, but remember dear ones, joy comes from being honest, there is no joy in being dishonest. When you live a truthful life, your relationship with God is that much stronger and connected, yet when you choose to be dishonest with yourself and with others, you essentially are violating a code of honesty that will eventually prevent you from attaining a close and meaningful relationship with God. It will divide you until you learn to live a truthful and meaningful life. Even if you think your lie had good intentions to spare someone's feelings, deceitfulness is not a good companion when you are seeking to connect with the Father of your creation. Remember He knows your truth and He wants you to begin living a life of truth. To strengthen your connection with God ultimately means you have strengthened your connection with yourself and you are willing to live from your authentic self devoid of deceit and rich with truthfulness and honesty. It is more than possible to be truthful and kind at the same time. You can spare other dear souls feelings by learning how to be tactful. If you are truly sensitive and consider your relationship with God and His beloved Son to be of the utmost importance, then it is essential dear ones that you must become honest even with the little things in life as well as the big. Remember you are never alone even if you look around and see no one. There is not one single act that you do that God does not witness, and there is no word that is spoken that is not heard by God, and yes he does observe your thoughts as they develop inside your busy mind. There is no amount of darkness that conceals anything you do. Just because the dear souls around are unaware, does not mean God is unaware, his presence is wherever you are, in everything. He knows. Before you act dear ones, think beforehand. Living a life of truth merely means that you live your life while maintaining your most regarded of standards. Every dear soul that has reached any amount of notoriety has within them a set of values which they live by. They don't necessarily live a life of whimsy. They live a very thoughtful, honest and truthful life. 
even if a dear soul's life is not constantly guided by their core and highest of values, understand that their core values still manage to influence their thoughts and actions. By living up to your standards each and every day, you are living a deeper and more meaningful life. Comprehend dear ones, every single action you take is considered to be significant to someone and has the potential of being quite powerful. And when your actions come from a place of honesty and integrity just imagine how much powerful you become. Every dear soul that lives upon this mighty earth all carry a certain set of values, they have beliefs, ideals and certain guidelines that they follow and believe to be truly important. Living a life of truth demonstrates integrity and passion for life and respect for all other dear souls that share their planet. Is it simple to live a life of truth? Simplicity is up to you. Many of you tend to choose complexity over simplicity, but living a life of truth is simple. All you need to do is act, think and feel with what you believe to be the right thing with all your heart and soul and not to be governed by your hungry ego. When you live your life in alignment to what you truly believe in, you are living a life of truth. When you live a life of truth, you will feel so much more alive dear ones. You will have difficulty choosing the words to describe the intense feelings that will emerge from your heart that will filter into every cell of your body. The reason why you will feel so intensely alive is because you know deep inside that you are living from your highest degree. This is a level of truth that moves beyond all experiences that you have met so far. When you live from your highest of core values, you are acting in accordance with what you truly believe to be true and important. And yes sometimes what you feel to be of utmost importance may not always be right by other dear soul's choice of action, but it is still truthful because you believe it is real and the action you have demonstrated is real as a result. Let's imagine dear ones you are offered a great and new opportunity to become part of a major conglomerate but is located far from where you are currently residing. The salary they are offering is great, the benefits are great and most importantly you love the idea of working there. Yet slowly you begin to second guess your choice and outcome of this opportunity. You begin to worry about your friends, you come up with ideas about why you can't afford to move. Maybe you have a pet that doesn't travel easily. You will create in your mind a thousand and one reasons why you shouldn't accept this new direction in your life, but deep down you know accepting their proposal is the best thing and the right choice. Many times it is fear that clouds your judgment and mars your ability to be truthful with yourself and with others. Making certain choices can be difficult, but when you know deep down the choice you are to make and you do make the choice, like taking a new job that is far from where you are living now, you are following through with right action and it will feel amazing, regardless what your ego has you doubting, or what challenges you may encounter from relocating to a new city, state, province or country. Even if you are by yourself and you are doing something or thinking something that is dishonest, do you really think you are alone? Remember dear ones God observes when you tell a fib to a dear friend even if that little lie is in writing and no one else is at home or beside you, God is there. Before you tackle being honest with others, you must become honest with yourself and become honest with God. Going within and seeing yourself for who you truly are and coming to terms with your total self takes great courage, but it also delivers you to great joy. We ask you to think dear ones. How it feels when someone has been dishonest to you. When you realize you have been lied to, does it at that moment of your discovery make a difference how big or small the deception was? Does it affect your life in any way? Does it make you question the other dear soul's integrity for their dishonest act? For many dear souls that have been a victim to someone's deception, it can be quite difficult for them to overcome and let go because lying creates a hurt that goes deep inside. Depending on the other dear soul's values, the lie they have just uncovered could become difficult to forget because it has become etched upon their conscience. Telling lies regardless of size has way of growing in toxic size, as the lie is shared to friends and family. Deceptions are not loving, they are harmful and have malignant potential. In addition, they shut the door to any communication you had with God, therefore prevents His light from touching your life. No matter if your conversation is between friends, co-workers, or family members, 
and it makes no difference what the subject is, it is important to live through every action from the highest level of truth. Every choice and action you take, you take with truth being your highest authority that will in turn create a more amazing and meaningful life, simply because you are living in accordance with what you know in your heart and soul to be true, that dear ones is living a life of truth. Today is a fine day to begin living a life that is honest and truthful, where you are one with yourself and closely connected with God and His beloved Son. Embrace the challenges that come from such a path, and find yourself living in joy, peace and happiness as a result. I am Metatron through Julie Miller. SpiritualNetworks.com